my bride and I are out riding faster this or I should should we even call it morning anymore? It's 1030. It's pretty embarrassing. But it was showering this morning and my bride as much as I'm a fair weather cowboy, uh, she is a very fair weather cowboy. So we waited it out the little drizzles and so we won't get any awards for getting out at daybreak, that's for sure. But we took Wyatt to college yesterday. I mean, he drove himself, but we hauled up his horse and he, well, I guess he took his dog and then we hauled up all of his, everything he needed for the move. So now he's back at college. So he always rode with me on the weekend. And then Ty, when he has days off, would come and ride with me, but he's working lots of weekends right now. Well, we got to check cows, hoping to combine. Oh, the wind picked up as soon as I hit record. I've had some people comment that my videos are too windy and I told them to watch something else then because I can't control it in southern Alberta. That's why there's times there's two weeks between videos because the wind's too strong. But this is just a little breeze and you can't handle it no much. This is the swing set that Robin would have played on at her grandma's house growing up. But I turned it into cattle oiler. Cows have enjoyed it. Looks like the mops coming apart. So I might have to bring some more oil out for it, chemical. My bride's still riding, so. Robin was in a, get that wind to block. Robin was in a car accident a few years ago and had her foot come off and they had to put it back on. So if you notice, she's, she rides, what are those shoes called, Skechers? Yeah. Robin rides in Skechers, not boots, because boots are too hard on her ankles. other foot. Robin broke her ankle helping me with cows one day when it was cold out and it broke really bad and had to have surgery and then it had to get surgery done again. So Robin goes to physio for the last five years I think. Eh? Five years I've been going to physio every two weeks for five years. So, so like I said she doesn't doesn't wear boots, doesn't care to ride but she felt sorry for me, but Robin did inform me that if uh, we had to treat anything, that she would just cheer for me and it would be one man doctoring. She was not going to pick up a set of heels for me. So I think we'll be okay though. I'm going to go find the calf we treated last week and anyhow, I got a few of my cows that are way out there, but a lot of them are just around this duck pond. You can see the center of that duck pond, that's where the drain ditch goes through. So it has a different ripple, the rest, the, the duck pond's down enough that you see grass, the, the weeds are growing through. So it used to be a drain ditch and then they built it up so they could flood it for the ducks. We have two of these big duck ponds. Or... Okay, there's a small calf just right there. And that's what we treated last week. He had a he had a bad eye, and I see nothing in his eye, no scarring. So I think we caught him in time. Like I said there might be a tiny little scar, but not bad. He still sees out of it. I tell you that because you can ride up on the side that was blind last week, and he'll bugger off now. So. Anyhow, we'll go keep riding. I had to show Robin that even on the prairie we have brush. And that's the extent of this brush. That's all we have. <laughs> so, but we do have some, but that's all we have. Anyhow, it's, here's a big, big blowout. So, we're going to go up the hill. I told Robin I'd make an action shot of her running up the hill, but we'll see. There should be a herd of cows on the other side of this. Oh, <laughs> oh that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> the 
So that's the extent <laughs> of Robin's physical abilities. <laughs> she will like to walk the rest of the pasture now. Wind is still going. We're in another pasture now. My sweetheart is wishing the sun would come out from behind the cloud. I'm not too bad, but I'm fat, so I stay warm. So these shorthorn cows or cross cows have all been checked now. They're all pretty healthy. I like these cows because they just stand there and you can walk right through them and they're all good. We'll go to the other cows and they'll, you know what's sick because they all run away and then you know what's sick because they're behind. But I brought a gun with me this time so if we find our coyote that comes to try to attack us, I'll give it to Robin and see if she can take a crack at it. So it's gonna be, it's a little windy though. So not bad, not not for us it's not bad, but for you guys it'll sound bad. I'll see you again in a sec. It's pretty boggy, but this is the first time Robin's rode across the drain ditch. I'm just gonna keep riding in front of her so that the horse doesn't turn back on her. So was it scary, Robin? No, it was just smelly. Oh, I was scared for you because I thought if she went down, I'd have to go out in that sludgy water to save you. I might just say that. Okay, let's go just check there. These other cattle have just buggered off on us, so we're gonna just ride back east and then we'll go around them the other way. So, I told Robin to drop our rope out. We're gonna rope this cow. And she informed me she did not bring a rope, so she did not have to rope. Anyhow, this cow has an injury. It's not foot rot, so we can't treat it anyway, so we won't have to worry. That's a damn big cow to drop by herself. She's every bit of 1650, 1700 pounds. So she gets to just be a cripple and the owner can color this fall, hopefully, but it's not a foot rot, so we can't treat it. It's stifled or in the hip or something. But cows go down, they strip in these holes. So, you keep riding, find some more cows. We got done those couple pastures. It's two in the afternoon. I told Robin I was getting a little hangry. So I said, let's go home and then we'll uh, go back out after. But you can see that sludgy drain ditch got my horse all muddy. Oh, the other one is too, you can see it right on our head. We're gonna go eat lunch. Woohoo! Well, if you can hear me breathing, you know that I'm out of breath. I've been working on this girl's feet for over an hour. And I'm not putting shoes on, I'm just trimming. But that's how hard her feet are. That's how dry it is. And her feet are always hard. I have bought brand new nippers, I've tried every sharpening thing. Her feet are just hard. So. I worked most on this first front foot, then I've got some of the other front do foot done, and I'll trim the back feet, and I'm so exhausted, I won't even rasp the back feet today. I'll do it tomorrow when I catch her then. But she has hard feet, that's why I don't have to, I've never put shoes on her, because she don't need them. But I'd like to put some on this fall in case I go out when it's wet. A little more traction but you definitely don't need shoes on her she's got big black feet I'll even her one white foot is hard as a rock so but I just took the saddle off black beauty I'm gonna take mystic saddle off then finish trimming and supper will be ready right away so we've had a good day and Robin didn't fall off her horse or off the horse and Mystic tried, but I didn't come off, so if I ride her and she doesn't try, then you think something was wrong with her. So be sure to comment, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe. Have yourselves a great day. Take care.